Hey guys! So today you and I are going to talk about the labels and juniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why is it that some developers don't outgrow the junior label? And the short answer is because they don't progress beyond the code monkey stage or being a code monkey and most likely they don't solidify their knowledge. That's usually how it goes. Let me explain. So I'm gonna go out and say immediately that I don't think that I know, I don't know a single person that I would consider with 10 plus years of experience that I would consider like just a junior. I know a lot of insecure developers who have been working for 15 years that are so emotionally insecure that they don't even know their own value or they don't acknowledge at least their own value. That is very common, but they're not junior developers. They are senior developers with a low self-confidence pretty much. And that's different from being a junior developer for a very long time. I would say that it's the, the, the main difference between that sort of insecurity, like being an insecure senior, if that makes sense, and being like a junior is that the junior has the same level of insecurity or the same sort of insecurity, but also lacks the skills, if that makes sense. A senior is still a senior, like the code that these people that I know that they write is good code. It's very strong, solid code. They have all this knowledge. And if you just put them in an environment where they don't have to reflect so much on their place in the universe, they're doing fine. Usually, like they produce, everything goes like goes smoothly when they work and they can make very important decisions. It's just that they don't realize that these are important decisions. If you have a junior on the other hand, they still have the same sort of insecurity, but they make bad, well, I'm not saying bad decisions, but they, they don't have the skills, like they still, their code is not at the same level, etc., etc. And it's very uncommon that you find someone who's been working for a long time where this is the case. This usually happens if you're dealing with someone who is working in a fashion where they don't actually develop their skills all that much. An example of that would be self-taught freelancers who only work by themselves. It's very rare that a freelancer who doesn't have any history with professional work in like an IT company or like a product company or a consultancy or something like that, who doesn't have peers or doesn't have a strong connection to the corporate world in some fashion, to develop their skills to the same level. I mean, I'm not saying that it can't happen. I'm just stating that the, from my experience, usually the freelancers who are the best are the freelancers who started out as corporate developers or startup developers or something like that. They have prof quote unquote corporate training and then they went into their own and started their own company. That's usually a good way of going through it. But the people who started completely self-taught and never have any, have never worked with other, de other developers, things like that, they usually have an issue moving into the more advanced forms of programming or the more advanced uh, projects. And some of them I know that have reached out to me say that they've been trying to break into the industry for several years and haven't succeeded because of this exact thing, uh, because it's different. It's very different from working as an alone developer on uh, your own projects usually on smaller scale projects and working as part of a company or part of a team uh, on more serious projects or more complicated projects. So that's the reason why you can claim that someone stays a junior for an extended period of time because the it, you can think of these labels, junior, mid-level, senior, etc., etc., as just indicators to fitness. I like to make that analogy to fit the fitness level. If a junior is a obese or like fairly he heavy person, mid-level is normal weight and a senior is a bodybuilder, if that makes sense. That's a better analogy to how to think about it. And you can progress from a junior to be a mid-level. Like some people, they start like from, the, it all depends on how you define it. It's a very subjective label. There's no hard, like, like there's no way for you to go to school or go to t and take like a 
online course and then just get a certificate. You are now a junior level rank one or junior level rank three developer and then there's there's no certificate and there's no paper that's going to say you are a senior developer rank five. There's no grading, there are no black belts in, uh, in software development, I'm sorry to say. That would be pretty cool though. Anywho, which brings me to what I'm saying about the fitness level. It comes down to a vague understanding that all of the developers within your community have for, oh, this is the experience level that I expect from someone who's been working for this amount of time, and this is the experience level I expect from a person who has worked that amount of time, right? And that comes down to fitness. So you can progress from a junior to a mid-level very quickly. And sometimes you never progress because as just as if you go to the gym, if all you're doing is working out with really light weights and just doing the bare minimum all the time, well, then you're not going to increase your strength all that much. You're not going to build a lot of muscle from doing that. If you're on the other hand, lifting really heavy stuff all the time and you're hitting the gym all the time, then you're going to progress really, really quickly. It's the exact same thing with being a junior versus being a senior. So what I want you to take away from this is pretty much that the reason why some people never progress from the junior developer stage is because they focus on the wrong things, if that makes sense. They are usually code monkeys. They only care about their own work. They only code their own things. And the ones who do like you, Usually people are passionate in this stage, but the worst case is when you really only focus on your own work, you don't really care about progressing your skills or anything like that, and you don't actually invest anymore into your skills. If you just got your first junior developer job and then you just don't learn anything more, or you don't fo try to hone your skills even further, then you're going to stay at that level forever pretty much. But as with strength training, if you want to progress to be a senior developer, you're going to have to increase your resistance training or the resistance that you're facing. And that means using, uh, trying to learn new things, trying to work on projects that are a little bit out of, outside of your comfort zone and pushing that knowledge as much, as much as possible. That's how you progress. But if you want to stay a junior for your entire career, it's very easy. Just don't put in any extra hours into your own learning and do the bare minimum at work. And ideally also, and of course, also only work on very easy projects when you're actually doing your work. Have a great day.